Enjoying Bundaberg. Oh, loving it. Thank you. Uh, beautiful place. Like we said, went up in the helicopter. Um, great people up here, and uh, it's great to bring the game here against the Cowboys in what uh, three weeks, I think. Two weeks. Three. Three. Um, looking forward to it. Sold what was sold six thousand tickets in two hours. It's an incredible place. Footy is such a big part of our regional community. Are you expecting the crowd to really get behind you on the night? Uh, we hope so. We, we want some. We are in Queensland. Yeah, <laughs> we, we would like some people to go for the Cowboys as well. But um, you know, if you wear your blue and white here, Bundaberg Bulldogs, I love the saying of it. So, looking forward to it. Four hundred uh, plus games between you two with the Dogs. Obviously, the the allegiance is strong. Yeah, yeah. Club. No, we um, we're bringing our ex players back. Um, and it's the right thing to do. The people that were at the club for a long time, and I've been part of the Bulldogs since '92, working at the club. So um, it's good to see Willie come back and get some Rennie Matures back, and people who played with the club for a long time. Seeing someone like Michael Potter coach yeah. the club, your former teammate. Yeah, I played with Potts in the '84 Grand Final, and um, yeah, he's a great bloke. Potts. Potts is a coach that there's no problems with him. He settles people down. Um, there's no pressure on him either, you know, since Trent's gone. Um, and he just puts it all in. He's letting the players play what they want to do at the moment, so there's no pressure on him. And the effect with Gus Gould on the Oh, there's always effect with Gus. He's a great man. Uh, we made the right decision bringing Gus in at the time, and uh, he's made some decisions he didn't really want to make, but he had to make them. And this actual game, what do you expecting as, as far as the, the club goes obviously yeah. you're hoping for a win but listen um if we win every game we can make the semis okay so it's positive for us um inning every game it's players that players have got to do that for us so um i'm looking forward to coming up here again and as willie said you could have just about won that game on the weekend. Yeah, and there's quite a few games we could have won through the year. I'm going through Canberra, mm. the, uh, West Tigers, games like that. Manly. Um, Manly. Um, yeah, but with the team, there's, you know, Josh Jackson's played 250 games. There's probably half a dozen players that haven't reached that yet. So you need to play a lot of football with the people. And um, if we can get the right players in the next couple of years, we'll, we'll go good. And to see the sort of enthusiasm he's bringing to the club too. Oh, absolutely, Jacko, mate. He's, a, he's, he's very solid, he's loyal, um, and he, he, he's done it tough over the last couple of years. So um, hopefully we can get a few wins away for the end of the year.